New York City Ballet principal dancer Lauren Lovett floats down the sidewalk outside Lincoln Center. On this night, she has good reason. The New York City Ballet returns after going dark during the pandemic. No matter what happens, whether it's a perfect show or whether it's just a bunch of dancers fighting for their lives, it's like, I think, I hope the audience takes away the realism of it all. She's only 29 years old, but this will be her final season. She's retiring from the New York City Ballet after leaving home at 14 to pursue her dreams. She tells me this building is her home, the company, her family. Lauren is thrilled her final season will have a live audience. We like are back in that moment and it's so special, like just the touch of a hand against another and to be, to be able to embrace and to throw yourself into your partner's arms and to be lifted into the air. Like those are, are things to be cherished and held on to and I hope the audience can feel that too. I'm anxious, I am worried, I am, um, you know, just feeling all the emotions of returning to our livelihoods really, that we had to give up for 18 long months. Jonathan Stafford is the artistic director for the New York City Ballet. This opening night brings up many emotions for him, ones he hopes the audience will feel too. The performances moving from serious and sentimental to overwhelming joy. Dancers will perform both classic dances and work from newer choreographers. It's a thrill. It's, a, it's an historic night. And there will be safety protocols in place. Everybody who comes to see a performance at the New York City Ballet must show proof of vaccination and they have to wear masks during the performance. The season continues right through October. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.